Welcome to part two of uh, this Microsoft Excel tutorial on the VLOOKUP function. Uh, in this tutorial, part two, we'll be looking at some of the things that can go wrong with a VLOOKUP function and how you can correct it and uh, some additional tricks that will make using the function a lot easier. Now, in the first part, what I explained was that when you sort the data table, it should be sorted in A to Z order or 0 to 9 order. Uh, and if you don't do that, it can cause problems for the formula. Now, as we have the formula set up here, which you can see in the formula bar, um, there is an element missing. Now, without that element, I will just show you what can go wrong if the table is missorted. And what I'll do first of all is just select the data in the data table, and I'm going to sort it the wrong way around, just to give you an illustration of how it uh, can go wrong. So, column A. I'm going to sort, and I'm going to sort in descending order. Click OK there. Now just keep an eye on the um, the table at the top, the uh, the information table, and you'll see what happens. It all um, goes slightly chaotic. The code 1001 is not finding hammer at all, even though it's clearly on the data table. Um, the other codes, the 5001 and 4001 codes are not finding what they're supposed to find, which in the case of 5001 is the bolts, and 4001 is nails, but they're all finding hammer instead. And so clearly the function just isn't working at all. Um, the reason for that is there are two ways you can use VLOOKUP. One is to find an exact match, and one is to find a close match. And we'll look at both versions of those. What, what I'm going to do first of all is look at using VLOOKUP to find an exact match. and I'm going to correct the formula uh, in this example so it begins to work properly as we want it to. Now if we just have another look at the formula, there it is. Uh, the first part is looking up the, uh, the information that we want to get from the data table or Excel will use to retrieve the information we want. The second part of the formula is obviously the data table itself and the final part is the lookup column or which column in the data table do we want the information to come back from. Now there is a fourth element which I will now add on. So if I type a comma and type the word false in there. Now what I'm going to tell Excel to do by putting false in is to find an exact match only. Uh, and if I press the enter key we'll see that we have got the right result for code 1001. Fantastic. And what I'm going to do is copy this formula down there, and we should see them all correct 